Last year at Christmas time, the 198 employees of a certain real estate company in Baltimore gathered together for their normal Christmas party. But during the Christmas party, something unusual happened. They were each handed a red envelope, which hadn't happened before. And the red envelope, they were told, had their Christmas bonus inside of it. Of course, that's, that's common in many companies, but, but what happened this year was a little unusual. The owner of the company said he wanted to do something extraordinarily special for the 198 employees of his real estate company. And so what he decided to do was to take $10 million and split it up evenly among the 198 employees of his company, which means that each employee of the company got roughly $50,000 as a Christmas bonus. That's a pleasant surprise, <laughs> to say the least. But not every surprise around Christmas time is as pleasant for everyone. I read a, I read a story about a seven-year-old boy in Canada. Well, two years ago, he was seven years old. And on Christmas Day, he called 911. He called 911 because he unwrapped one of his presents and saw that he had received snow pants. <laughs> he called 911 because he wanted to let the authorities know that, that he was not happy with that, <laughs> that he was not happy with that, that that was a very unpleasant surprise for him. I don't know if you're getting snow pants for Christmas this year, but I do know that when you look at not just this Christmas, but really this entire year, it's, it's kind of been one one long string of unpleasant surprises. A year of COVID and for Christmas, not knowing if you'll be able to get together with family or friends and depending on who you talk to, the presidential election may or may not still be all established and final and done or accurate or it's just one big surprise, one very abnormal Christmas that we're getting into this year in 2020. But if you look at Christmas in the Bible, an abnormal Christmas was actually well, it was pretty normal. And this week, we're going to spend some time looking at some individuals from the Bible who had very abnormal Christmases. And today, we're going to start with maybe the most abnormal Christmas of all, the one that there was from Mary. Many ab abnormal things happening there. Of course, Mary was, was a virgin. She had never been with a man, and yet she was pregnant. That's very abnormal. <laughs> And the way she found out she was pregnant is that an angel came to her and told her the news, which is also very abnormal. And then the angel greeted her by saying this. In Luke chapter 1, it said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. And we're told that Mary considered that greeting to be very abnormal. You ever wonder why? I wonder if it had something to do with the title the angel had given her, with the phrase that the angel used to refer to her. Greetings, you who are highly favored. If you were to pick one title or one phrase that would best describe you over this last year, what would that be? And think in particular about all the unusual things that this year has brought and how you've reacted to them. What phrase or title would you use to describe you as, as a pandemic came in and turned your whole world upside down? Took you away from the places that you could normally go so easily and from the friends and the family that you usually saw so often. What word or phrase would you use to describe yourself as we got into the election cycle as things really started to get heated, not just on television and social media, but among your neighbors and maybe even among your family? What word or phrase would you use to describe yourself as you were thrown into all sorts of new situations that you had never been in before and, and you had to deal with them and also deal with everyone else's emotions as they were going through them? Do you have something in mind? Something that accurately describes you? If what you're thinking of right now is something less than favorable, you might have something in common with Mary. That phrase, highly favored, you know what that means? It literally means somebody who has been shown grace. And you know what grace is? Grace is somebody giving you a love that you do not deserve 
just treating you very kindly and good when you've earned quite the opposite. And that's how the angel referred to Mary as somebody who was shown grace, which is why the angel was able to say the next five words in the sentence. The Lord is with you. Because the angel wanted Mary to know and you to know that a great Christmas doesn't depend at all on your ability to successfully manage all the different things going on in your life. It doesn't depend at all on your ability to successfully withstand all the temptations that come flying in your direction. It doesn't depend on you at all. It entirely depends on God's ability to be with you, even when it was really hard, even if it meant cramming himself into the womb of a virgin, even if it meant growing up and hanging on a cross to forgive us of every sin that might keep us from knowing that the Lord will always be with all of his children. Whatever this Christmas looks like for you, whatever the details are, we know this. We know this from Mary. The Lord is with you. And therefore, it's going to be a good Christmas. Did you enjoy this video? Make sure you subscribe by clicking here so you don't miss a single opportunity to connect with your Savior Jesus.